Yeah, the, the funny thing is after uh, so many years, uh, still uh, even when the, the skis are gliding and if I compare to many years ago, the skis are now much faster, but for me, still never fast enough. So I always think, ah, I could do something so that the ski can glide better. Fabio, this is an Italian guy, Italian style. That's really good to have him in the team because it's not only French guys in the team, we can say Europe family. And it's, Fabio is like, it's like my cousin and Fries also. It's a, we are a family together. I'm in charge about uh, ski selection and ski development. Uh, we do some plan with the team. We do a plan for the next winter and we decide where we go about ski development. But then Romain is almost crazy. He has the database of the ski in his mind. He's crazy about numbers, measurements, and normally it's so nice because me, I'm, I cannot remember numbers or like this. Like in the database, we have thousands of pair of skis. He uh, looks like a crazy man, a funny man, but uh, in his mind, he's like a computer. We spend a lot of time on the road, and uh, as uh, that's uh, pretty, uh, let's say, exhausting, uh, the atmosphere into the team has to be good. The team job uh, is so important. I see that it's more and more important in a company than in a, like in a ski team. And the ideas are coming uh, actually from everywhere. You know, before to have a new athlete, if we have a really good feeling with him, that's the best point. If we have no feeling, that's not good for him and also not good for us. For us, when an athlete do a really good result or a podium, for us it's like, uh, you know, it's like when it's your brother doing good things or your sister. It's like, it's like family. We are on our way to uh, the ski factory, which is located in Altenmark and to about nine hours drive from Annecy. It's gonna be a long trip, but we are used to it as we do approximately about 70,000 K per year. Uh, the plan of this week is to produce and adjust skis according to the latest feedback we got from our athletes and their waxers. We have two places, one in Annecy and one in Altenmark. In Annecy, we have a development center where we have a research and development team doing prototyping and uh, developing. And uh, as soon as all the products are validated, we just uh, move to Altenmark to make sure that uh, we'll uh, reproduce exactly the same products and uh, then we'll uh, launch them in massive production. As soon as the skis are produced, uh, all of them uh, go in the Fabio's and Roman's hands. They are, they are checked and, uh, and they just do the final touches, uh, meaning uh, measurement and uh, grindings. I like the machine so much because uh, when I ask to do something, the machine makes that, that thing. The same thing to a person is, is never coming the same. But then there is the part uh, that is coming, uh, how can I say, the extra from the, from the computer. That is uh, the stone, the diamonds, the ski, the base, uh, the snow. These things are things you cannot control like uh, with numbers. Uh, normally when I see a ski that is coming out, when I'm looking with my lens on the base, I'm, I'm already thinking, okay, this is what, uh, what I wanted. Yeah, there is two parts, like one part is very perfect, very scientific, and then there is the other part that is more like, uh, like a feeling, yeah. Actually, the best part uh, starts uh, during the fall and uh, during the winter time, as soon as we can put all our newest product on snow and to see how they're going to be and if they're going to be at the right level. And as soon as the fall time is coming, then we have the opportunity to meet uh, all our athletes, especially on the glacier. And that's at that time that uh, we start to spend time with them on snow and to get the first feedback. and. Uh, it's uh, where we see uh, if the, 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 the equipment is at the right level or not, to make sure that everything is under control for the kickoff of the winter. 
Yeah, the idea is to spend time with uh, any of our athletes uh, to understand uh, what they really want and what they really need according to their, uh, their, uh, their expectations. And then we need to adapt ourselves and adapt the product to make sure that uh, they will fit them at 100% and that they will be uh, yeah, efficient on snow with our equipment. Overall, that's important to meet our athletes individually and uh, to spend time with them, uh, to show them that uh, they really belong to uh, the Salomon family. Remy and me, we made such a long way from France uh, to come to the, the house of uh, Santa Claus <laughs> and we were waiting, uh, we were hoping to find uh, uh, really good snow condition with uh, very cold and actually we bring very warm clothes and we bring with us also around 400 pair of skis that are uh, sleeping very quiet in the ski bags because uh, we cannot take them out because uh, there is mostly stones on the track. It's raining today again, it's plus 11 degrees. So we will use again the same uh, ski that we used since uh, 10 days and we will test it one time more. <laughs> uh, that's all we can do at the moment. They're always looking for the next thing. I'll come back from a race and be like, you guys, these were the best skis ever. Like my skis were faster than Marit. And they say, oh, that's great, but we're still working and we still think they can be even better. And I, I think that's so cool because you're always looking for the next thing and you're always pushing and searching for the next way to make the skis even better. Welcome to the darkness of Kusamo Ruka. Although it's very dark outside, there is some light also since the World Cup season is starting now. Yes, yeah, so we are here uh, in Ruka for the kickoff of the season, and uh, for sure everybody is really excited. In the same time, also super nervous, and uh, we are all looking forward to see uh, how our athletes are going to behave on the first World Cups and where they will stand if they're going to be on the front or not. So let's see what will happen this weekend. Of course, we work a lot with products and make sure that uh, yeah, our athletes are satisfied. But at the end, what counts, that's uh, the human story we have every day and the fun we're gonna have uh, doing what we do. Actually, I'm never happy with what I say, so that's the problem. I have no idea about what I have to say, uh, concretely. Well, you... It's to... Uh, it's... We live together the full uh, winter. We don't sleep together. <laughs> it's always we listen to the athletes and... Uh... Ciao Fabio. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. Was it correct? Mm. No.